the boat and brought it back here we've replaced just about everything on it uh, new life raft new anchor new anchor winch uh, about 80 meters of chain uh, we put in brand new this has hardly been sat on which is uh, this most expensive material that they that you could use uh, from what the uh, upholstery told me um, stuff that they put in ribs and maritimos is about five grand to do that a ice maker which was crucial up in Cairns that makes 24 kilo, sorry, 48 kilos in 24 hours. Runs on 240 volt. Uh, new microwave, new TV back and front, and the TV at the back is actually linked to the uh, sounder upstairs. So you can be traveling along uh, trolling and the group guys downstairs can see what you're trolling over, which is handy. Uh, we also, um, the water maker we've got, which is down this way, take it down. Everything that's on here has manuals. The water maker is under here with instructions on how to do it. So it's pretty easy to do. Uh, makes 140 litres per uh, per hour. We've had, what, six blokes on it when we travelled up to, uh, well, three blokes and, th and three kids. Travelled up to Queensland from Newcastle and everything was comfortable. Like we threw a couple of uh, blow up beds down, but other than that, it took all our gear, there's plenty of space, plenty of storage. Um, I like the fact that the boat cruises really well in most most uh, conditions. In particular, if you've got a trailing sea, it doesn't really surf down and try and turn you sideways. The nose sits up higher. That's what I really liked about the boat. That's why I purchased it um, off, a, off a review years ago. We imported it from South Africa, uh, from a place called the Seychelles. Um, and when, uh, when it arrived here, um, we repainted it inside and out. 
and we also put two brand new motors in it. Went from 315 to 370 yen miles. Um, the reason for going up in, uh, in horsepower is because even the dealer will tell you that the 315s are only rated to about 295 horsepower, where the 370s are a true 370. And as a result of that, we got a much better uh, speed through the mid-ranges. Um, from Newcastle to Cairns, uh, majority of the time we were cruising between 19 and 21 knots, depending on sea conditions. Uh, obviously there was days when we did a little bit less than that because we weren't in such a hurry but we were doing 200 miles a day without much issue um, in between ports. Um, there's plenty of room to fish off the back of the boat. The layout at the back of the boat's great because it's uh, it's just spacious. It's just different to any other boat that I've seen um, and it allows the ladies to stay up near one end without having to worry about the fish and all that sort of stuff or the smell of it or anything like that. So they're happy. It's also got a, a pretty big area upstairs. Um, which, uh, you know, as, as, you, as you're cruising along, that's where everyone wants to be, particularly when you're looking at turtles and all that sort of stuff. Yeah, Liverboard fish money was great. There was no problems. We um, we had a couple of eskies here for, for beers and stuff. We've got brand new fridge freezers, um, which are, you know, they're fine. Uh, around uh, Hamilton Island, we caught a 51 kilo GT and a 26 kilo Spanish mackerel. We caught a lot more Spanish mackerel. Uh, not as many GT, caught another one which was bitten in half by a shark. Um, but other than that, all, all the normal fish that you would catch up on the reefs, yeah, we had a great time.